Hello, welcome to DA Garage. Today I'm actually doing a viewer's request. So if you have any other requests or questions, feel free to let me know and I will do my best to answer those questions or get to those requests. All right, let's get to it. The viewer just recently bought one of these B65 Sabres and he wanted to know how to remove the seat. So let's get right to it. On the sides, you got these fenders right here, this kind of triangular shape on both sides there. As you can see that this one's actually not matching colors. It's because the three prongs, one about in each corner, that uh, holds it on there, because of the bike's age, they do get brittle and they can break. So here I have this original fender here. And as you can see, broken clip, broken there. This is the only good one. Notice they are approximately in the corners. Anyways, they do break, so you do have to be careful with that when you are removing those side fenders. I'm gonna try my best to hold the camera steady while I try to pull this fender off. Anyways, remember that we have each of the prongs, the three prongs, in approximately each corner. I'm gonna start with the bottom one right down here. So, reach under the fender. There you go, got the first one out. That one tends to be easy. The other ones are a little tighter, but anyways, you want to find about where the prong is because you don't want to be pulling um, somewhere else on the fender and uh, you know potentially cause a break so you're gonna pull just straight back as much as you can just straight back uh, seems like the last one is always the hardest uh, I, I'm actually gonna put my camera down for this last one but it's the same idea, it's right about here. So I'm gonna reach as best as I can behind this fender and I'm just gonna pull it straight back. Okay, so we got the fenders off. Uh, and I would say get familiar with doing that because as you can see, there's a lot of very important components that are hidden by this fender. Um, you do have the fuel petcock there. Uh, see a lot of other reservoirs, there's your coolant reservoir. Um, the rear uh, suspension modulator there uh, and on the other side you have your battery so those fenders actually do cover up very important things on the bike so those are probably pieces that you're gonna be putting on and taking off regularly so just get used to how to do it and how it feels this is where they go see the little this is a rubber you know they fit in there Just kind of get used to that feel too, so you're not worried about snapping them. Okay, on each side, you'll see that bolt right there. That is your seat. It is a 12 millimeter, so get yourself a 12 millimeter socket. I'm just gonna use my uh, T-handle here. Yeah, 12 millimeter, and uh, twist those off. Okay, got the bolts all loosened on both sides. It did the same thing yep, on the other side too. So now what you do is you take your seat and you slide it back because there is a forward facing clip just to hold it in place so it's not all wobbly or anything. Uh, yeah, so you pull it back and there you go. Seat off. There you have access to a few more things. So pretty easy to do and uh, that is how you do it. When you do go to put the seat back on, notice that there is that front facing clip. So if you look, it's this right there, the way it's facing. So when you put the seat back on, you wanna go forward with it. And that clip, see goes right there. So that part of the clip will slide right inside there. Yeah, so I don't think I can really do it with one hand very well, but just to demonstrate anyways. So, yeah, make sure that you're pressing down and then you're just gonna slide it forward. Um, and yeah, with two hands, you'll be able to put some downward pressure as well. And then it should uh, you should feel it. You'll be able to feel it kind of slide into place. And also, you won't be able to do that when it's in place. It'll be nice and solid. The back will be solid. Um, it won't move. And then uh, just put your bolts back in and just do the reverse process for getting those side fenders back on. 
line it up, um, press them back in one at a time. Same thing about, you, you know where the prong is about, so press and pop. Yeah, that's what it'll do, you'll feel it, just pop right into the little rubber hole there and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching, hopefully that answered your question. And uh, for anyone else that wanted to know how to do the same thing, hopefully you found that all useful and helpful. If you got any other questions or requests, let me know and I'll get to them. See you later.